Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Wolfworld63, and today we'll be taking a look at a ship in history that I guess um, kind of paved the path for what um, destroyers are today, or the destroyers that followed um, this ship or the ships of the line. Um, that subject today is, um, the subject today is going to be, um, the USS Wix DD-75. Now, she is the lead ship of the Wix class, um, destroyers built for the, um, built for the USN, or United States Navy. Um, but what we'll be taking a look at today is actually the service history of her because she actually does have a unique service history per se because she didn't just serve with the United States, she also served with the Royal Navy. Um, on and she kind of had a split career in that matter. Um, so today we'll be taking a look at her service history, the overall general characteristics of the ship, and what role she played during um, during her time in service uh, from both the American standpoint and the British standpoint of her. Now, um, um, USS Wicks is the um, name given to her upon her build, upon her building, but the um, name she was transferred to um, it during her time for the British or for the Royal Navy was the HMS Montgomery. Now, um, again, we'll be taking a look at um, everything that she is, I guess, in the end. Um, if you guys are familiar um, with um, another sh with a ship of her class that was specifically designed for the Royal Navy, the HMS um, Campbelltown. Um, that is basically something similar to what the Wix is. Um, they are one and the same if you guys look it up, because they are both um, part of the Wix or the Wix class of screws. Now, without um, going, without spoiling any more of this, let's just jump right in. Um, first things first, though, if you guys are new to the channel, please do go hit that subscribe button. It does greatly um, help out the channel in many ways if you guys are coming in and supporting it like that on subscribing. Make sure you guys ring the notification bell. Um, we are on our path to getting monetized, finally. I'm hoping to aim it so that it's closer to um the i'm hoping that by at least um sometime next year we'll finally be monetized um it's a hope but it's something that we are going to be looking forward to now without further ado let's just hop right on into this now the wix class destroyers played a crucial role in naval warfare during World War One and World War Two, and one of the notable vessels of this class was the USS Wix DD-75. In this video, um, we'll be going into an in-depth exploration of the general characteristics of the USS Wix, as well as its service with both the United States Navy and the Royal Navy, highlighting its um, contribution to naval operations during this era. Or era. Um, general characteristics, um, construction and commissioning. The construction of the USS Wix DD-75 was initiated on the 12th of December of 1917 at the Bath Iron Works in in Bath, Maine. Sorry about that. It was impressive. It was an impressive vessel with a length of 314 feet and a beam of 31 feet, displacing 
um, approximate, uh, approximately or around 1,160 tons. Following its launch on the 15th of September 1918, the USS Wicks was commissioned on the 4th of December 1918. Armament and Propulsion The Wicks was armed with four four inch 102 millimeter guns as its primary armament. These guns were effective against both surface targets and enemy aircraft. In addition, the destroyer boasted an impressive 12 21 inch torpedo tubes, enabling it to engage enemy vessels from a distance. It also carried anti aircraft guns for defense against aerial attacks. The USS Wicks was powered by four bullyards, which fed Curtis turbines, resulting in a powerful propulsion system that allowed the vessel to reach a top speed of 35 knots. Although on Rick, although the crew of the Wicks and most of the other Wicks class destroyers probably double, probably exceeded that um, 35 knot. Um, top speed. Crew and um, accommodation. The Wicks had a crew complement of approximately 120 personnel, officers and sailors, officers, sailors, and enlisted men working together to ensure the ship's smooth functioning and effective operations. The vessel featured various accommodations including sleeping quarters, mess hall for dining, medical facilities to attend to the crew's health care needs, and, rec- and recreation areas for leisure activities during downtime. Although, during the um, Wix service, um, that downtime was very slim and narrow. Communication and Navigation Communication systems played a crucial role in the USS Wicks operations. The destroyer was equipped with state-of-the-art radio technology, allowing for effective communication both within the vessel and with other ships or shore-based facilities. Various signal flags were also utilized for visual communication when necessary. Navigation was accomplished it through the skilled use of compasses, charts, and rangefinders, ensuring accurate positioning and course plotting. Service with the United States Navy. Um, coast post um, commissioning activity. After its commissioning, the USS Wick served as a training vessel for the Atlantic Fleet, allowing sailors to develop their skills. And gain uh, um, practical experience. It participated in various training exercises alongside other ships to enhance uh, tactical coordin- coordination and strategic readiness. The trials conducted on the USS Wix tested new equipment and technologies, and the insights it gained contribute to future naval developments role in World War One. In April of 1919, the USS Wicks joined Squadron 3 of the United States Navy, tasked with escorting troop transports returning from Europe. This vital service ensured the safety transportation of troops, helping with their um, demobilization and the re- um, retaliation process or reinterrogation process. Furthermore, the Wix was involved in the post war mine clearing efforts in the North Sea, aiding in the removal of hazardous obstacles that threaten navigation and trade routes. Interwar period. During the interwar in during the interwar years the USS Wicks continued to play an active role in the United States Navy. The destroyer participated in fleet exercises and training operations in both the Atlantic and the Pacific. 
oceans, honing the skills of the crew members and maintaining peak coordination readiness. Additionally, the USS Wicks engaged in anti-submarine patrols, conducting regular surveillance to detect and deter potential submarine threats. The vessel also undertook diplomatic visits to foreign ports, promoting goodwill between nations and fostering international cooperation. Service with the Royal Navy Lease Agreement In October of 1940, as part of the destroyers for the base agreement, Bases Agreement, the United States leased 50 Wicks-class destroyers, including the Wicks, to the Royal Navy. This lease agreement aided to bolster the Royal Navy's capabilities during the early years of World War II and facilitate the defenses of vital sea lanes, renamed and rearmed. Upon entering service with the Royal Navy, the USS Wicks was renamed the HMS Montgomery. The vessel underwent modifications and armament to upgrades to align with the Royal Navy's requirements. The renovation included the installation of British pattern depth, char- depth charge racks, uh, um, ar- augmenting its anti-submarine capabilities significantly. Additionally, anti-aircraft guns were also added, enhancing its defense against aerial attacks. Atlantic Convoy Duty The HMS Montgomery played a pivotal role in the Royal Navy's efforts to safeguard convoys in the treacherous North Atlantic. The destroyer regularly participated in escort missions in protecting merchant shipping from relentless U-boat attacks. The Montgomery presence, the Montgomery's presence, what not only deterred enemy submarines but also actively engaged them, what wielding its firepower and anti-submarine weapons to defend the convoys. Its contributions were instrumental in ensuring the safe passage of passage of crucial supplies, bolstering the war effort in Britain. Mediterranean and D-Day Operations After its service in the North Atlantic, the Montgomery was deployed to the Mediterranean Theater of Operations. It participated in convoy protection duties, safeguarding vital supply lines to the British forces fighting in North Africa and the Middle East. The destroyer also supported various Allied operations in the Mediterranean, providing naval gunfire support and engaging in shore bombardment. During the Battle of D-Day, or during the D-Day invasion, the Montgomery played a significant role providing gun, f- gun, gunfire support and naval gunfire off the Normandy coast, contributing to the success of the Allied landings. Um, in conclusion, the USS Wicks, a member of the Wicks class destroyers, um, demonstrated remarkable resilience, uh, um, adaptability, and firepower. Throughout its service with the United States Navy and the Royal Navy, it proved it to be an instrumental, instrumental vessel in frontline operations, safeguarding essential convoys and supporting strategic missions. Um, up until um, the fate of the um, HMS Montgomery would take fold, and that would be her scrapping in um, early 1945, or late 1945 after the war ended. The USS Wicks, DD-75, contributed significantly to the over reaching objective of securing vital sea lanes and ensuring the war effort success. Its, insensual, its intensive environment uh, or involvement in both training and combat roles stands as a testament to the destroyer's enduring legacy and, in, and importance in naval history. Now, um, that is going to be ending today's video. 
I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope and pray to God that you guys um, learned something about this um, wonderful destroyer. Um, I know the Wix um, sim quite well, in fact. Um, for any of you guys who do not know, she is a tier to um american destroyer and world of worships legends um which is a free to play game on both xbox and playstation and in some countries um on mobile um i know her quite well and hence um why i actually kind of enjoyed doing this video because of i guess its significance in the game now, um, without boring you any more about this, um, I do thank everybody for watching. Um, if you guys haven't already, please do go hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. It does help immensely. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, please do go hit that subscribe, not the subscribe button, but the like button. Uh, make sure she, um, sinks afterwards from you smashing it so hard. Um, come join the Discord server, which is linked in the description. Um, come join the podcast, which is also in the description or linked in the description. Um, and if, um, you guys have any questions, concerns, anything like that, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And with that being said, again, I thank everybody for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.